Okay, Owen. How are you? Owen, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna look at your stroke now. We're gonna look at your style. It's good to see you, happy to see the camera. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our ready position. You're facing the net. Get your elbows a little bit further away from your body. Your hand is too much on your belly button. You want to get away from your body. And then it's turn and separate. So let's see how. Okay, Owen. Hi, this is Cole. We're just looking out on your shot. Here's your ready position. You want your elbows further away from your body. You want your hand away from your body. And so when you turn and pivot, you want to get ready for the ball. You're stepping back, but at the same time, your racket should be chin height away from your body. You're backing up a bit. Let's see what happens. Nice loop. You're going past your head. Stop on that back foot, and then you want to step forward. Let's see the weight transfer. Nice contact point out in front, great weight transfer, everything is great. Now, one of the things you could have done there is instead of just stopping here and then start turning over, I would have preferred your arm to go straight up so there's no variables, nothing breaking down. By doing that, sometimes if your timing is a little off, you're going to be hooking the ball and I want you to use more of your left arm. But otherwise your contact point's really good. So the left arm more out in front so you can track out in front and extend more, have more extension. And the back heel, have your left elbow up high at the end. See the next one, are you gonna do the same thing? So you start here and then you have this big loop, which is not bad, but I prefer you to just pivoting past your eyes and then as a unit, getting below the ball, stepping forward, nicely done, opening up. Hopefully you're not gonna to be too jammed and late here. You're a little jammed there, that's why the elbow's tucked in a bit. Contact point, and now you see the swivel. You see how that wrist just swivels over? You see how low the left elbow is over here? I want you, when you hit the ball, I don't want you to hit it and then finish down here. I want you to hit it and then finish up here. So you notice there's none of this, there's more just swinging through with the shoulder. But not bad shot though. Okay, who else is next? Garrett, how are you today? So let's see your forehand, Garrett. So from your ready position, you don't want to get the racket going down here as you swing to hit the ball. You want the racket to go past your eyes, get into this arm position before you swing through. Let me see contact. Contact's nicely done, but as you're hitting contact, you've come from below the ball, but you want to be straightening your front knee now, and the hip is facing the net, and it's hand to hand at the end of the extension. Now ready, even after you hit, did you see how your weight is now even pushing off your front foot and you want to go back? Please make sure that your weight transfer is going forward as much as possible through the head. So next up, let's go, rack it up, ready position. Rack it up, ready position, turn and pause. Get your elbows away from your body. Keep your racket in front of chin height. It'd be sometimes better to have your racket your left hand here near the top of the racket so you can turn and pivot. If you have it here, it's not bad for the double-handed backhand. So, but I really worry about that racket head dropping there below the hands. You want to turn and pivot, keeping a racket head above the head, above the hand. Stepping forward, Garrett. You're jammed there again. 
I want you stepping forward with that left foot. If it's open stance, that's fine. But look here, where's the left hand? I want it more up here so you can have a nice catch and an extension over your shoulder. Not bad, Garrett. Who's next in line? Let's see. Anthony. Let's try the other side. Okay, so you have your ready position. Now straight away, if you look at your ready position, your racket head's down. I want your racket head up, and I want it away from your body. So when you turn and pause, it's up like that. Do you see how the racket drops a little bit? So you're stepping forward nicely, you're gonna be swinging through with the left arm, you're gonna have a catch, and then you have an extension over. Swinging through, back hip is coming through nicely, nice contact point, nice extension. One of the things you want to do is you want to extend for longer through the ball before you come over. If you keep it bent like this and you wrap it over, sometimes you're going to be a little late all the time and you're going to start this whipping like action. So you want to extend more and follow the ball as long as you can. Let's see your next one. Remember your ready position. You want your racket away from your body. Let's go again. Get your racket away from your body, so when you turn and pause, you're getting ready, 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 and then you can have a nice extension through the head. Racket head, chin height, stepping in. You have a nice closed racket face, but the problem is you have this reset, this down, up. You want to go past your eyes and then drop. Nice contact point. Now that was a great extension. You see how you actually hit through the ball more and your eyes were locking down onto the contact point. So that was pretty cool. Well done, Anthony. Okay, let's see who's next. Okay. Let's look at Mason. Mason, you're getting ready for the forehand. Do you see how you're dropping your racket down before you come up and hit it with a catch? So what you want to do is have more of a loop. So the racket is going to be more of a loop past your eyes. You're going to separate your hands. You're going to swing through and then you're going to catch hand to hand. And you're going to have both elbows up high. Your back heel's not bad. You see how the heel's facing the back fence? Now straight after your hit, straight after your hit, you're going to go back to a ready position. You're going to have your elbows away from your body. When you're getting ready for your ready position, have your left hand on the racket here or on the handle, one or the other. You holding the edge of the racket here. So you want to pivot, turn, hold, hold, hold. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Now you're going to be stepping in. See how the left arm is getting caught a little bit here. So you want to straighten and separate a bit more so you can have more extension down in front. But that's, you actually have a more natural extension with the right hand, but unfortunately the left hand's not there to catch the hand before you go over. That's pretty good extension there. Well done, Mason. Hi, Jared. Just going to look at your strokes now. So when you have your ready position, you want your racket out like this. You want your elbows out here. You're gonna turn and pivot. Hold, 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 hold. Then you're gonna drop through and swing and catch. Let's see, set it up. Getting behind the ball. It's gonna be way out in front. So you're gonna step forward. That's very low ball, but your head is looking at the ball. Your hips coming through nicely but you actually step forward to the right foot. You don't want to be stepping forward to the right foot too often. Normally you have your weight transfer from your right to your left and you can finish on balance, but not a bad swing. Let me see the next one. Okay, let's see your ready position. The problem is already your racket is dropping like that. Try and keep your racket chin height. Okay, that's better already. You're getting past your eyes, not bad, but don't try and lead with the hand. Try and keep the racket and the hand in line with each other like a mirror. Now there you saw the racket is underneath the ball, but the problem is, is when you're making contact with the ball, it's like golf, you're going in line with your body. You want to be more out in front if you can. And you see how you are late there, so your elbow wrapped around and you tidied up at the end. I want to have more extension through the hit, and then you catch if you can. Let's see your next one. Well, I think that's two. Okay, we have Owen. 
Now look, already your hand is quite close to your body. You want your hand further away from your body. Tilt it away from your head. You're gonna turn and pause or you're gonna loop it. Oh, look at that racket dropping. See that racket head dropping? You gotta keep your racket head up at all times. Okay, it's slipping up the handle. You're gonna turn. Pivoting, Mr. Dotley, let's go. Turn and pause. Getting into position. Okay, it's way out in front. You really got below the ball. Nice contact point. But the problem is, you see how you just rolled your wrist at the end. So everything was good. Everything is, you had a great contact point and then you just rolled over just after the hit. I want you to swing with the shoulder and have more of a straight arm swinging up and over before you bend the elbow. Try and nice recovery, let's see another one. So you're turning and pause, turn past your eyes. Nice setup, keeping your left hand on the racket for longer. Nice footwork, you're really trying to move. Getting behind the ball, trying to see where the ball is. Okay, now you're leading with the hand. Try and keep the hand and the racket in line. Try and get more below the ball. Let's see. Okay, that's nice. You really came from below the ball. Now already, you see your eyes are looking forward. I want your eyes to be looking at contact. You see how you're leaning back on contact? You want to have your weight forward through the hit. There you see you rolled. You see how low that left elbow is? And already your weight you're already pushing back to go into the next shot. You want to be finishing the stroke itself before you come back. But otherwise, Owen, not a bad shot at all. Okay, Peter, let's see your forehand. Saying hi to the camera. That's hilarious. Okay, getting ready for your shot. Okay, so there's your ready position. But already you're just leaning on your body. Get your racket away from your body. Okay, you're turning and pausing. You're going past your eyes, which is great. I'd keep my left hand on the racket for longer. Now right there, if you look carefully, you see the racket is up like this, but the left arm is down. I just see the left arm up the same height as the right arm, so they go down together and then they come up together. You see how the left arm now is actually on the side of the body and then you're trying to catch at the end? Oh, you missed that one. And then you're wristing over. But nice looking style, so not bad at all, but you should be making contact a little bit more out in front and then you want hand to hand more near the end. See the turn, palm down, look at the left hand again, it's actually behind your body. You really got below the ball, which is really nice. A good hit, nice contact point. But you see how you folded your arms very low. I want more extension as you hit and then fold it up there. That would be far, more, far better. Let's see another hit. Let's see the extension. You see how bent that elbow is when you started folding it over? I would prefer to see a, you hitting a ball and then straighten your arm through the head, so more extension if you can. Otherwise, very nice looking shot there, Peter. Who's gonna be next? Okay, Matt. Matthew Sandifer, let's go. So for your ready position, you want your left hand to be on the racket, so when you turn, you're going to turn and then you're going to separate. You see how you just started like this and you just separate like that. Now, look carefully. Do you see how you went back like this, your elbows down, and you're just slapping across the ball and you're trying to catch? I want you to set up like this and then both hands go down together and then up together. And that's what I want you to do when you're hitting the ball. So it's a good looking style. You know, your, your hips coming through, your foot's coming through, the elbows up, you are catching. But it, it is more of like a, a roller coaster or a swing-like kind of swing and not a 
slapping across the ball kind of action going across the top. Let's try it again. See how you're slapping across the ball? And you see how that racket face is facing up like that. So you want to give yourself room, you want to hit the ball vertical, and then you want to be swinging over your top. It's all good. But with practice, you get better. And again, turn. You see how you just swing down? You see how the racket went down? Then you opened up like this, you turn, you're getting ready, and then you're going to slap across the ball. The racket itself must drop below your knee and then swing up. You see how your hand stays shoulder height, and then you're slipping underneath the ball and then you're coming over the top. You want the hand to go past your right knee. That's very important, Matt. Next, I think it's Clara. There we go, Clara. Okay, let's see your forehand, Clara. Turn, past your eyes. Now, I'd want your shoulders to be a bit more sideways, and I want the left hand on the racket, so when you activate the loop, I want to see more of a loop. You're going to hit the shot, and then you're going to catch with the back heel. Nice catch, but look at this back foot. I want us to make sure the hips are facing the net, and the back foot is facing the back fence. Okay, let's see another one. Ready position, you have your turn, you're going past your eyes, which is not bad, but then you want to have a closed racket face as you're swinging through. Closed racket face, you're getting below the ball, which is great, you're hitting the ball, but get your hips in it. I want that right hip and the hips facing the net and the back heel facing the back of the court. And let's see your last one, Clara. Turn, nice loop. Step in, but make sure the back of your right sole, the back of your foot, leaves the ground and faces the back fence. Okay, there it is. That was a bit better. A little bit of a putt, but not bad. Okay, let's see who else. Who do we have next? Okay, we have Laura here. Okay, ready to hit. So you're doing a nice split step there. Split step, let's see you turn and pause. Keep the racket chin height if you can. Nice footwork, really good. Coming to the ball, nice past your eyes, that's great. Through the ball. Nice swing, nice step, getting set up nicely, very nice high loop. But now you want to make sure that your hand gets below the ball. You see where the ball is here and you see where your hand is? I want to make sure that the hand gets below the ball. Now look at your contact. It's in line with your body here. You want to be making sure that your contact is more out in front before you have extension and over your head. And look at your back toe. You see how the back heel hasn't come off and your hips are still facing the camera? You want to be making sure your hips and your body are facing the net as you're hitting balls because your body is getting in the way. So you want to be hitting the shot like that as you come through and hit, and you don't want to be hitting it like that and then doing a wrap and then turning after the fact. But it was a tough ball, it was quite high. I'm sure the next one's going to be different. Okay, let's see the next one. You have your racket up. Split step, have your racket up, turn, past your eyes. You're hitting it late again, your weight's moving back, it's going to be a high contact point again. Late again, you see how you're stepping up. Better contact point, more out in front. You're swinging up and over. Okay, that was a much better follow through and your hips have come through. That was a much better hit because you weren't so jammed, but you'd still want to get more set behind and then have your weight leaning forward instead of the jump like you just did there. But Laura, that was much better. Okay, next. We have Dean. First time I ever saw you on the court, so let's have the racket up. Nice chin height, very good looking shot there, Dean. So you're gonna turn and pause, let's see the pivot.
Now, let's look at that again. You see how the racket drops down and then comes up like that? I really want you to try and have the racket chin height as it gets back before it drops down into the swing. It's a bit of a high contact, but very nice shot. And then you want to catch at the end. Nice high catch and the back foot comes around. I would sometimes try and keep my toe on the ground as you come through, but otherwise it looked pretty decent. See the next shot, Dean. Have your racket up, chin height, have your elbows a little bit further away from your body and you turn and pause and then you come through and hit the ball. Okay, once, look at that. So now your racket went down past your knees. You want to make sure it goes past your eyes before you drop through and hit the ball. Nice eye catch, it was better, but oh! You see what happened there? You hit the ball this height and then you just roll the hand over versus trying to get your hand swinging up and over and swinging through. So you really want to try and keep your shoulder the hinge and let your whole arm stay relatively, not straight, but bent, but the same kind of shape the whole way through. Who's going to be next now? Okay, we have Garrett. Otherwise, egg roll. Let's go. Okay, you're ready position. You have your racket out in front, elbows away from your body. That's pretty decent. You're starting to turn, activate your turn. I would have the left hand on the racket a little longer as I turn, activating the loop, and then I'd be stepping forward and swinging through. Left hand longer on the racket. A little bit jammed. You see how your body's a little jammed there when you hit that ball? This is where you made contact. So you're hitting contact right near your shoulder. You wanna get a little bit further away from the ball and you want to make contact more out in front and that would be a better hit. Your back foot's already turning nicely so that's good to see. And then you tidy up nicely at the end so it looks good at the end but we really want to have more extension through the ball and then come over versus tidy up so it looks tidy. So make sure there's more extension on the ball. Okay, well, let's see another one. Ready position, get your hands away from your body, so it must be waiting like that. So you turn, turn and pause, and then you're going down into your swing, and then finish the follow through. See how your one hand is going very high, but the left hand is staying low? You'd want to turn, and then separate, then go down together, up together. This is quite a high ball, so it's going to be tough to hit. You are, that was so good. You know what is good about that? You see how low your hand is and your racket is, and see where the ball is? You're really getting underneath the ball. That's really a good shot. The problem with this, though, is it's jammed. You see how it's in line with your body now? It should be in front of your left foot. You always want to be hitting this ball out in front of your body. See how jammed you are? You almost hit yourself in the head. You got to be very careful about that. Garrett, don't want to hurt yourself. Okay, who's going to be next? Okay, Anna. It's going to be good for you to see your shot now. So you're going to go, good, good footwork. Get your racket up, hands away from your body. Split step, and you're going to turn and pause. And going up. Good, 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 good. Swinging back. Okay. Let's see where you make contact. That was pretty good contact point. It's away from your body. Your head's still forward. You're looking at the ball. You're looking at contact. Nice extension. Now you rolled your hand a little bit after the hit. I would prefer you to, as you hit it, to swing up a little bit before you swing up. Because remember, every shot you're lifting up. But I really like your head looking down. I like your eyes looking at contact. And it looks great. Let's see another one. So ready. Turn and pause. Let's see you're seeing it. Rack it up, ready position. Get your racket away from your head, so you're turning and pause. Remember the higher the ball, the further away you wanna hit it away from your body. Sometimes you do get in line with your body, but it must be further away. Okay, let's see. Get your hands away from your body. Turn. I think I'm so used to waiting for the slow motion. There we go. Oh, the racket is dropping a bit, so it's a little bit of a reset. I don't want the racket dropping. 
Remember, it just goes past the eyes. You want to be more efficient. This loop is quite high, Anna, so if somebody's hitting the ball hard, you've got to be careful about that. Okay, the ball is dropping, but I noticed that you didn't bend your knees much. So when the racket starts coming down after the pause, you want to have the, the body dropping before you come up. You see the contact point? And I think your contact point is pretty decent. It's nice out in front. There should be already a weight transfer and then coming through. Let the right hip come through. Now watch, just after contact, you see how the weight's already coming off that front foot and you're leaning back? I want to make sure that you're stepping forward through the ball as long as you can. But Anna, it looked pretty good. I was very happy with what you're doing. Keep up the good work, everybody. And uh, we'll see your backhand next session.